what's going on YouTube Sam Adams here and today we will be collecting the man the Mick the legend Mickey Mantle so he is the ultimate collection of award when you complete when you collect every live series card in the game Mickey Mantle he's a switch hitter play center field 99 overall his 110 contact versus righties 125 contact versus lefties 119 power versus righties and the 102 power versus lefties. He is 91 vision with 87 fielding, 94 arm strength, 91 accuracy, 88 reaction with a 92 speed. So we will be collecting him. We're gonna be doing a debut video, obviously in the next couple of days, but along with collecting him, we get the AL collection reward and then NL collection reward. So for the AL collection reward, we get Craig Biggio, 99 overall, second baseman, but very interesting card because he has catcher as a secondary option last year the catchers weren't the best option so to be able to put Vizio back there is going to be a huge asset and his stats 106 contact versus righties 107 versus lefties 79 power versus righties with the 80 power versus lefties 101 vision so his PCI is going to be pretty big he has 80 fielding 80 arm strength 83 accuracy 87 reaction 90 stealing and i mean speed and then we got the man he's looking clean in the florida marlin jerseys my man gary sheffield as you guys know i'm a marlin fan so I, i'm so happy we have a 99 overall this early in the game he's gary sheffield plays right field but his secondary options or secondary position third base and left field he may be the best pure hitter in the game right now he has a 107 contact, 106 versus lefties, the 110 power versus righties with the 121 versus lefties, the 104 vision, 65 fielding, 91 arm strength, 83 accuracy, 82 reaction. So his fielding is a little bit low, but he's okay. He's going to make up for it with the bat. And his speed is not that bad with 71 speed. Also, a little bit off topic for a second, but if you guys look in the upper right hand corner of your screen, we are level 99 bronze okay level 99 bronze which means we are very very close to getting we're having the chance to pick one of these guys right here posey mimoso sandberg reggie jackson barry lark now i think i want to choose sandberg i've used him a couple times in vr you guys can tell we're 11 for 19 getting 579 with six moonshot so he's an animal but but if you guys want me to use one of these five cards and want to see a different type of gameplay debut let me know i will pick somebody else if you guys want to see somebody else let me know in the comments below what you want and while you guys are at it and commenting below if you guys have not yet hit that subscribe button make sure you click it we're on the road to 600 subscribers we're almost there as we speak i think we're five away so make sure you hit that if you guys are enjoying the video Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. And I truly appreciate all you guys who show so much love. You guys been killing it for me. I, I, again, I appreciate it so much. But back, back to the star of the video. So here we go. As you guys can see here, we've completed 13 teams already. I can sit here and complete by all the comments, all the bronze right here while we're talking. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy all the bronze right now. And then we're gonna come back. I have Chris Sale. Come back and buy the diamonds off camera or on or I can't speak, guys. I can't speak, Adam. Come on, man. What I'm gonna do is buy all the silvers, the bronze, and the comments off camera. Come back. We'll, we'll talk about the diamond carts. We'll talk about what we're gonna do with our lineup, the future, all that stuff. So we'll be right back after we buy all the silver, bronze, and comments. Okay, so we bought basically all the commons, bronze, silvers, and golds of every team. Still haven't bought the diamonds, but for the Red Sox, I think I have everyone I do. Let's go auto select that. Let's go lock it, and let's get an 86 overall Shane Victorino. And we move up to silver, level four. Wow. So this Victorino, man, if he had a little bit more power, he'd actually not be bad. A switch hitter with good fielding, but let's keep let's keep this going. So now we got to go to the Rays here. And I think the Rays is actually our last AL East team. So we can lock that in. Well, let's go. We, we need to get only Charlie Morton. He's okay. See, 
When the price is this close, I might as well just buy them now. We have enough stuff to where we can do this. Let's go lock in the race collection and get an 85 overall Evan Longoria, who will definitely not touch our team. He just doesn't have the hidden stats. He does have the fielding, no speed, low vision. So that is it. Let's go lock in the American League East, and we will get a 91 overall for Berto Alomar. This Alomar, he doesn't look too bad. He has the diamond defense, the high contact. The, the vision's pretty high also, but I, I like guys with a little bit more power. Plus, we're gonna have Biggio and maybe Sandberg. So we don't really need him. He'll just be on our bench. But we do get, we have this Giambi. Now this Giambi, I don't know if you guys have seen him. This is the Yankees collection reward. 97 contact versus righties, 84 versus lefties, 101 power versus righties, 82 lefties versus lefties, and 72 vision. The fielding is always going to be bronze, slow speed, 29 speed. But, but I've heard great things about this card. I think he's going to be our starting first baseman, at least for the beginning of our ranked seasons run. Maybe we'll go switch it to Bellinger or somebody else. But this card looks like an animal. So let's go lock in these five guys. Did not mean to do that. Go lock in these five guys and let's go get ourselves 91 overall for Brutal Alamar with 4,000 stubs and 7,000 XP. Let's go lock that in. There we go. We got, weren't we level four silver before? I don't know. That, that was weird. That was weird. So let's go here to Detroit. We may have all of them. They don't have, I don't even think they have a gold. They don't have a gold. Let's go lock them in. We get 81 overall Jack Morris. Here it is. 81 overall Jack Morris. There we go. So we locked in Detroit. Now we need to go lock in the twins. Do we have them all? I don't know if we do. No, we haven't bought a bunch of the gold. So let's go buy some of these gold. Dang, these golds are kind of pricey. We're just going to buy them outright. Buy them outright. It is what it is. I know you guys hate wasting stubs, but we're, we won't waste any stubs. I promise you on the no money spent squad. If you guys have not yet watched that video, it's our last video. If you go back, it will be actually, the link will be in the description below the no money spent team. It was episode one. Episode two will be coming out very, very shortly. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. First, like I said, first time I've done something like that on my channel, considering I just started. But first time I've actually done that, I think ever. Usually I've always spent a, at least a little bit. Not the not the most amount, but in past years, I would throw maybe 100 here and there and um, try to go 12-0 and, and get a good squad. Let's go lock in Donaldson here, 1,900. We'll go by him. And we now finish the Twins collection and we get an 86 overall Tory Hunter. So this Hunter, actually not too bad of a card, but the only, again, the only problem is we're gonna have a God Squad. He doesn't really fit our team. And there's so many good outfielders that you can get. So I don't see us playing with him unless you guys really, really want us, want to see gameplay from Tory Hunter. So now let's go finish. So now that we finished the AL Central reward, this, guys, I don't know if you guys know, this is for the Royals collection. If you guys are no money spent or just a little bit money spent and you need a budget dime, uh, budget gold left-handed reliever, this Mike Miner, guys, very, very good. Five pitches with good stats across the board. I'm telling you guys, good card. I've used him in BR. I mean, in BR, eight and two-thirds, three, one, two ERA. Really, really solid card. Let's go lock this in. We get 90 overall Walter Johnson now. I never, ever like any of Walter Johnson's cards. First of all, his pitches, not my favorite, and he has a long windup. I'm not a fan of guys with long windup. My ADD kills me when these guys have such long windup, so he's probably not even gonna make the squad, but he does get us one step closer to the ultimate goal of Mickey Mantle. So let's go lock in the Ace Collection now. We got, a, I think we've completed everybody, but Matt Chapman, let's go get Matt Chapman. It's 20K again. A 1K difference, we'll go buy for 20K, finish the Ace Collection here, and we get an 88 overall Sean Doolittle. Now, left-handed relievers are always hard to come by. I hear really, really good things about this card, and he has 91 control with the 90 walks per nine, so he, you know he's gonna have very good control. We're just gonna add him to the bullpen right now over, probably, Will Smith. <laughs> Let's go add him over Will Smith, and <laughs> we're done with the Ace. Now let's go finish the trash cans right over here. We need Zach Granke. How much is Zach Granke? Damn, 4K? Whatever, let's just buy him. Let's just buy him. Hopefully we have enough stuffs for this. We still gotta get a couple high overall diamonds. 15K, yeah, it's close enough. Don't want, I don't really wanna wait. My patience is low. We have 40, so here we go. We got 92 overall Nolan Ryan 
I actually don't know about this card, but I think he only has four pitches and he, you, in this game, you need a slider or I mean, you need a sinker or cutter slider, something like that. Four seam fastballs do not work the best until you get the legend. Legend pit speeds this year are insane. They are insane. So fastballs actually do work, but until then, I don't think this card would be the best card, but at least we completed that collection. And now what we're gonna be able to do is not only finish the AL West, not only get 94 overall Billy White. Now let me show you his stats real quick. He has a four seam slider and a curveball touching 100 miles an hour. Good hits per nine, max out case per nine. Good velocity, good break. So everything's good there. Let's go lock him in. Out of select. Yes, sir. Let's collect the item. Let's, we're probably going to add him to the bullpen. We'll do that after. But now what we're able to do is able to go to this Craig Biggio card. Wait, no, no. That's a lot. I lied. Go to the American League. Go to auto select here. Auto select. And we get ourselves 99 overall Craig Biggio. So there we go. We finished the American League. Let's go finish off the National League now. We got to go collect Freddie Freeman and Acuna. So oh, Freddie Freeman, I probably should put a buy order in for him, but here we go. Hopefully we have enough stuff for it, guys. We'll see. He's 49 or 50K. Yeah, we'll buy him for 49. We'll finish this collection now. We'll get Ryan Kessler, uh, Kesko. Klesko? Ryan Klesko, I think that's the name, who actually looks like a very, very good pitch hitter with a 99 contact versus righties, the 96 power versus righties, and then obviously he's a left-handed hitter. So his stats are a little bit lower. His lefty is not good in the field, so he would just be a pitch hitter for our team if we do use him versus right-handers. But here we go. Let's go collect him. Collect these items. We get Kalesko. I think, actually, that's probably right, Kalesko. Let's go do the, the Nationals now. We need Strasburg and Scherzer. Scherzer's gonna be, Scherzer's gonna be the one that hurts because I'm sure he's about 80K or something like that. Let's go see, he is 74K now. I think what I'm going to do, because this is actually a big one, I'm going to go put in a little buy order for him. Hopefully we can get him for a little bit cheaper. A little bit cheaper than and save about 9K. So let's go move on to the next team. We got to go to the Mets. Oh, God, they have DeGrom. They have DeGrom. We got Big Me Pete over here. We'll go buy him. And DeGrom is going to be how much? The stuffs are getting lower and lower. DeGrom, 5K. And we'll bite the bullet. We'll bite the bullet. Just... Just to keep the video up, you know, not keep it too long. Let's go to the Phillies now. Uh, we need Remuto, I think that's it. So we can just buy him out, right? He should be cheap. Yep. Here we go. And we will get ourselves a 86 overall legend, Robin Roberts. So I should have checked this card out. I can't check from here. I don't know why I can't check his stats, but he has 109 stamina. So really good stamina. Everything else is about average. Or actually, I would say above average because 60 is average. But, you know, we finished the Phillies now. There we go. Let's go move on to the Cubbies. And, bro, I, I always... I want a, a high diamond Mark Pryor. I don't know about you. I don't know what it was. But back then, around 2000, 2003, when Kerry Wood and Pryor were dominating, those were two of some of my favorite pitchers. Whenever I would pitch, I would try to imitate Pryor and Kerry Wood's windup. I just felt like they were so clean. I don't know what it was. And the ball just came out flying out of their hands. So I've always been a Mark Pryor fan, even though I'm a Marlins fan. So let's go buy Javi Baez now. Yeah, he's about the same. Now let's go get ourselves an 86 overall Mark Pryor. So let's do, do that. Here he is, Mark Pryor. Not too bad. Not too bad. We need now. Oh, God. We got to buy Yelich, guys. We have to buy Yelich. How much is he going to be? He's going to be like 100K, isn't he? 57? Okay, that's not bad. Let's go buy him. I don't know if we're going to have enough stuff for this, guys, to be honest. Wait, we missed somebody? Who did we miss? Who have we not bought? Oh, we haven't bought this common yet. Let's go buy him for 42 stubs. Ray Black, I didn't even see him. So let's go collect the items and we get Dan Plazak. That's, I probably, guys, I'm probably pronouncing so many of these days wrong, but it's a left-handed reliever, right? I think it's a closer with 90 break, 86 control, 87 velo. I don't know what pitches he has, but he could be nice. He could be nice. Let's check actually. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Fastball slider too soon. Eh, that's not. That is not it. We'll move on to the Cardinals now. I heard this Jason Ingram house. That's pretty good because, like I said, you need pitchers with a cutter or sinker. 
He has the cutter with the, the high fastball, curveball, and change of the good difference or differences in speed. So that's good right there. And we need to get Jack Flaherty, the new diamond this year. He's about 18K, so we'll do that. And we'll go lock in the Cardinals collection and get Jason Isringhausen, who probably will end up in our bullpen. So we should just take out Nick Anderson right now. Now let's go do the Diamondbacks where we just need Cattell Marte. I've never been a fan of Luis Gonzalez cars, guys. And this one, I'm mean, again, low fielding, no speed. Contact's pretty good, power's kind of low. So I don't think we'll use him, but this Cattell Marte, guys, Cattell Marte last year, the 98, was one of my favorite cards in the game. So I think I want to try him out. I don't know where I'd play him right now, but I definitely think I want to try him out. Let's go lock him in. And we get ourselves Luis Gonzalez now. Now, this is going to be a tough one, guys. These guys are probably about 100K combined. We've got Trevor Story, who's 19. And then Arenado is how much? 87K. Oh, my God. But this card, guys, I use this card in... Uh, let me go show you stats real quick. In my 12-0 BR run, he was insane. 14 for 27, 519 average, and six bombs. This dude... He just rakes. So with the diamond defense over at third base, maybe we found ourselves at third base and we don't put Sheffield out there. So let's go lock them in. Oh, and by the way, by the way, we get an 85 overall Adam Adovino. Everyone knows he throws funky from the right side. So it's going to be tough to hit righty on righty. But he also has a slider, cutter, the, the two seam, the four seam. And on this card, they gave him the change up, which is going to be huge for getting lefties out. So let's go lock this in right here. And we will get the 85 overall Adam Adovino. We're gonna take out Kirby Yates because Kirby Yates is always terrible in these games. Let's go to San Diego. I think all we need is Manny Machado and we will buy Machado right here. Go lock him in and we'll get an 87 overall Steve Finley. Probably won't use this card, but you know, good bench bat possibly. And then the last one is the Dodgers, and yeah, I don't think I have enough stuffs for this, guys. Anyway, I may have to, I may have to add something extra because we gotta buy Kershaw, Walker Buehler, which is how much? So that's 17. Kershaw is 14, so it's about 31 right there, maybe 32. We got Mookie Betts, which is 40. Wow. Okay. And then Bellinger's probably over 100. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough stuff, so. We'll be right back. Let's go add some more stuff so we can finish these collections off. Okay, so we are back. We ended up getting Scherzer. So let's go select him and we get a 91 overall Vladdy Guerrero. He's actually kind of, kind of reverse splits with the power. Overall better contact versus lefties with the 95 contact versus righties. So 103 contact versus lefties. 84 power versus righties with the 60 versus lefties. 83 vision. His field is always pretty low with the 68, but you know he's gonna have the arm strength with the 94 arm strength. 79 speeds, so not too bad. Let's go lock this in. Let's get ourselves a Vladdy Guerrero. We also were able to get Jacob DeGrom. So let's go lock this collection in. We get an 89 John Oro. And actually, guys, this card actually looks pretty good. So he has the 107 contact versus righties, the 121 contact versus lefties, 63 power versus righties with the 54 versus lefties, 88 vision. Now, 88 vision is not the highest, but with the contact being so high, his PCI will be bigger. Then he has solid defense at first base with the 88 fielding, 78 reaction, slow speed, 31. But he may not that be that bad of a card, so we may try, excuse me, we may try him out. But let's go collect this. And now what we can do is go to the National League East, go do this. We get, we get an outlier, Robin Roberts, Brian Colesco, John Oleru, and the Vladdy with 92 Mike Schmidt. I've actually heard really, really good things. Again, this car looks like it could be another really good pitch hitter versus lefties with a 105 contact versus lefties, a 110 power versus lefties. So really, really good card versus lefties. Diamond defense across the board, 91 fielding, 90 arm, 88 accuracy, and the 92 reaction. So let's go get ourselves this 92 Mike Schmidt. There it is. Now we can go lock in the central because all we need is the Dodgers. And now guys, here we go. We have that 90 overall Willie Stargell. Now, I don't know if you guys have been watching Twitch streams or YouTube videos, but this card demolishes the baseball. Let's go look at his stats. 91 contact versus righties, 82 versus lefties, 100 power versus righties with the 102 power versus lefties, 62 vision, bronze fielding across the board. But guys, 
This guy's swing is so good. It is so good. So we're going to have to check him or Giambi who's going to be our starting first baseman. But it's going to be one of these guys because they just both rake. So let's go at him, man. Let's get ourselves a 90 overall diamond, Willie Stargell. And now let's go lock in the last team. So now let's go buy Clayton Kershaw for 14K. We're just going to buy him, all right? I know some of you guys are probably hurting by me doing this, but like I said, we have the stubs. We can do this for this squad. For the no money spent squad, we quick selling anything. We're going to put buy orders for everything. We're going to be way smarter with our stubs. We're going to go do 39 here. And then for the last card, we're going to go get ourselves 90 overall. Cody B. Cody B. Mr. Bellinger. Let's go lock him in. We're going to get a 92 overall Mike Piazza. Now, Houston VR, and as you can, can see, 6 for 21. He has a slow swing. I'm not that big of a fan of him, so I'm thinking we're going to go use Vizio and Catcher. But he does have good stats with the 92 contact versus righties, 96 versus lefties, 74 power versus righties. With the 107 versus lefties, 82 vision, silver fielding across the board. With the 75 fielding, 74 arm strength, 75 accuracy, 67 reaction, 84 blocks. So that's actually very, very good. Let's go lock this in. Let's go lock in the National League West collection. We get a 93 overall Tony Gwynn with basically ma almost maxed out contact across the board with a great vision. But I cannot use a guy with 36 power. I just cannot do it. Just cannot do it, but we're going to lock him in. Get the 93 Tony Gwynn. And now let's go to the National League Collection. Let's go lock in my man Gary Sheffield. Here he is, bro. Look at the unis. Look at the unis, man. That's my guy. And then, guys. Guys. This is why you guys are here. This is why you guys clicked on the video. We go to the Major League Baseball picture. We press square. We go to auto select. Here he is, the man, the Mick, the legend, Mickey Mantle. Let's go collect him, he's beautiful. Here he is, 99 overall, Mickey Mantle. Okay, let's go. Let's go mess with the lineup, see what we got, and we'll show you guys what we what were the lineups looking like. Okay, so. Here it is, the ultimate lineup. I mean, I probably make some changes here and there, but ultimately, just messing around, just a quick look. We have Trout leading off, Mantle in center field, batting second, Sheffield over at third base, batting third, Willie Stargell over at first, batting fourth, Biggio at his secondary position of catcher, hitting fifth for now, Bellinger in right field, hitting sixth, face of the franchise, Glaber Torres, Playing second, batting seventh, and then Lindor batting eighth. Our bench is looking like we got Joey Gallo, face of the franchise, Aaron Judge, Giambi, Smith, and Nolan Arenado. Our starting rotation. I haven't really messed with this right now, but just for now, we got Kluber, 92 overall Scherzer, 88 face of the franchise, Otani, along with face of the franchise, Blake Snell, 89, Greg Maddox, and our bullpen, we got Gold, Osuna, Diamond, Doolittle, Isringhausen, Chapman, 86 Morgan, who you get at the level 40 pack. Adam Ottavino and Billy Wagner. So this is what our lineup looks now, but it's going to be different for each um, debut video. So if I'm doing a debut review for Biggio, I do not think I'm going to have Manto or Sheffield in there because they're not going to be in the video, right? For Manto's video, since it's going to be the last one, then we can have the full overall God Squad. But for now, this is what our team is looking like. If you guys enjoyed us collecting Mickey Mantle, make sure you drop a subscribe a sub if you guys have not yet done it make sure you hit that thumbs up button guys don't forget it like i said it helps so much get our video out there get some new subs who knows guys so please hit that thumbs up button leave a comment if you guys who else you guys want to see us do a debut for other than trout mantle sheffield Biggio, and then one of the five cards that we're gonna get at level one but until then guys until next time i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i'm out